Okay. Um, Battle of the Valentines, episode three. the crazy one. <laughs> Wait, who's the other silhouette? Ap Apophis, huh? So, so is that the name of their, is that the name of the exception? Now that the chocolate's all melted, it's time to pour it into the mold. Mmm, this smell is just heavenly. I wish my room smelled like this. Ah, uh, but I mustn't let myself get distracted. Let's see now. Okay, start with the chopped nuts. A beginner's got to be, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't think I could make them look this good on my first attempt. Anyone would think they're store-bought. Now to wrap them. Give one quick taste test, just to be safe. Mm, I was wrong. It's even better than store-bought. Huh, I'm actually quite good at this. 
Of course, it only makes sense for a god like me to be natural at everything I do. Hmm, but the smell is reminding me of something very specific. I wonder what could it be? Maybe, yes, that's it. Someone at school had remarked on how chocolate is as effective as any love potion or smell. should be in the clear. There's no way anyone would think anything at all of the renowned Se hero Seth making chocolates. Although, I seem to recall my brother never really enjoyed talking about love potions and the like. Come to think of it, I'm not even sure how he wound up with that reputation in the first place. Hmm. Okay, Seth. Less moping, more chocolate making. I can definitely think of a few other people I'd like to give some to. Maybe I should make a list. Let's see. Ottoman and Gangly, for sure. Give out too. And... Wait. Would a badass like Seth actually go out of his way to do something like this? your song M my what wait who said that your dream wishes to sing for all the world to hear the ballad of your heart yearns to be set free our emotions thoughts feelings and dreams are the lyrics of our inner world they are conduits for self-expression hey <laughs> I'm certain you know what I mean, because you do have a dream, don't you? There's something, someone, you want to become. In life, there, there is surely nothing more difficult or more joyous than creation, than bringing something new into this world. Okay, I've got two questions for you. Who the hell are you, and how did you get in my room? Perfectly feasible questions. 
worry, I'm here to help you. My name's Lena Ancide, and I'm a producer. My job is to help you realize your dreams. Uh, come again? Oh, I believe this is where things get a little out of hand. <clears throat> hey, your name's Mac Rioch, right? You wouldn't happen to be Mac Rioch of Ulster, the one from all the stories, would you? St stories? Sorry, where are my manners? It's nice to meet you! My name's Kite Sith! And as you can probably tell, I'm from the realm of Pixie Cats back in my our, back in our homeland. Indeed, a Pixie Cat Eternanog. All the way out here. Will the wonders of youth never cease? Believe me, I'm just as surprised as you are. I had no idea you were here, Macriocha of the Lightning Blade! Speaking of, do you have it with you right now, right meow? Is that it on your back? Is it true that ancient memories lie within it? I mean, are you saying that it's possible that Macriocha could be the world pillar? great heroes throughout history that aided it aided the chosen one who drew drew it from the earth they say the chosen one is fated to outlive all of the heroes for as long as that blade is in their possession because of the role it plays in recording the history of the world it's absolutely legendary as future king as the future king of cats i can't help but feel fero ferocious respect for that sword of yours that's uh, all very nice to hear, but I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Well? Uh, uh, sorry, but we'll have to continue this another time. I'm getting an announcement notification on my phone. <clears throat> Congratulations, contestants, on that marvelous performance in stage one. The battles you fought were truly spectacular. Those and those of sufficient rank who managed to pass the goal should have a separate message waiting for them regarding stage two. For now, please proceed to the changing rooms located to the right of the underground Coliseum's entrance. Best of luck. Excellent! It would seem that the first stage was no match for my youthful vigor. My apologies, Kite Sith, but I really must be off. Let us speak more of our shared homeland when next we meet. That's all for now. Huh? What was that all about? Don't tell me he's forgotten. That shouldn't even be possible, considering his sword's rule. Why wouldn't he remember? Unless he was somehow made to forget, maybe? Uh -huh. <clears throat> there you are, Kite Sith. I've been looking all over for you. It's time for us to do what we do best. Huh? What are you staring at? Something got your whiskers in a twist? Well, uh, oh, right! Now's not the time for worrying about things like that! Coming! Oh, let me get you here. <laughs> Wait, since when were Alp and Kite Sith friends? Hey, ready for the next stage, Brandon? <laughs> we better get a move on. The other participants are already on their way to the changing room. Hmm. Come on, Mac Roach. Last one there's a rotten egg. <laughs> coming, coming. You will have to forgive me. Bumping into someone from my homeland brought back a lot of old memories. Speaking of old memories, you really remind me of someone, Mac Roach. Like a lot, but I can't put my finger on who. That is the way of youth at times. It sweeps along with such intensity that the encounter off blends with the next. Do you have to drag youth into everything? 
I really don't think that word means what you think it means. Time you showed up, Brandon! Uh, you weren't worried about me, were you? Me? I knew you'd be here. I was just wondering what was taking you so long, that's all. Ah, Kingo, nice to see you through. Ditto, I mean, I kind of figured since you two were working together, Brandon doesn't lose easily. So, anything changed since we last saw each other? Ready to give me a real fight or what? Not yet, I'm afraid. However, I vow to regain my full strength before our next meeting upon the field of battle. Well, take your time. No sense rushing a good thing. Besides, you're not the only one who's got stuff to figure out. Oh, is that so? Cuba! Whoa! Easy there, Garber! <laughs> okay, come on, settle down. I'm happy to see you too, buddy. But there's no room to fool around in here. Garber saw Cuba run. Run as fast as Gar. Run fast as Garber. Cuba fast. Cuba cool. But still tell Garber. Say sorry. So Garber wants to say sorry. Garber do bad. Garber very sorry. Hey, no, that's okay. If anything, I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. I didn't mean to upset you, Garmer. Then, Garmer, Cuba, friends. Same year at school. Cuba, know that. Same year, so Garmer and Cuba, friends? I didn't know that, actually, but yeah, we can totally be friends. So they're both first years. Cuba, look happy. Cuba, happy. Garmer, happy. Cuba, Garmer, friends. Greetings, gladiators! <laughs> we, we trust the first stage of this event was to your liking. Uh, it was a crazy good time. We are grateful for your support, dear gladiator. That spirit of participation will serve you well in the trials to come. So you got your thing? So you got things under control now? You're looking awfully relaxed considering you guys messed up and had to change... The rules at the last second. Of course, turning crisis into an opportunity is child's play for any true leader. <clears throat> ah, hello, Claude. Greetings, Mark Rilch. You put on a stunning display out there. All that youthful energy of yours really does pack a punch. <clears throat> oh, you flatter me. But I must thank you again for inviting me to take part in this event. I'm having the time of my life. We should be the ones thanking you. Why you put on such a good show that I was even tempted to join and join the fray myself. Thanks to your efforts and those of uh, the other participants, of course. The Coliseum Spectator Gallery is at full capacity. The energy in the arena is nothing like I've ever felt. Everyone is wild with excitement to see more of our top contestants. Wow, that's a lot of people! I see some breakouts in the stands too. Oh, I forgot we're being watched. The live broadcast has certainly helped boost our numbers. 
But that is to be expected, after all. It is only natural to want to experience the energy of such incredible battles in the flesh after glimpsing them on the screen. On that note, there is something we would like to, like to attempt before the second stage begins. Thus, the personal appearance. To put simply, we have a favor to ask everyone here. Would you be kind enough to hear us out, gladiators? Um... What craziness do you have planned now? The path of conquest need not always be a serious one. Sometimes a playful jaunt is just the thing to rouse one's spirits. What we have in mind is merely a request, but we do so hope you'll take part. As before, the exact proceedings are classified. But if you are interested, Snow will make the necessary preparations. We must be off. Do let him know when you've decided. <laughs> Every time I meet with Claude, I'm reminded that youth takes many forms, and he certainly seems to be enjoying this. Yeah, he's having a time of his life toying with us. <laughs> Can't believe he's pulling this kind of thing again. You don't have to be part of it. I'll probably pass. Seemed to me like he was mostly talking to you about anyway. <laughs> I'm guessing it's some kind of show for the audience. Well, who knows? What do you want to do? If you're in, I mean, I am. If you're in, I am too. Mm. Yeah, I'll help out. Why not? Better than watching from the sidelines. Hmm. Thank you. Claude will be most pleased. Now, to begin with, please change into these clothes. Uh, whoa! <laughs> Uh, great. Hmm. What was I thinking? I shouldn't have agreed to this. Maybe I should just... Hey, it's almost curtain call. You better go get changed. Right. On my way. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to our glorious Coliseum. We want to thank each and every one of you for coming here today. For those who somehow do not know, do not know who we are, our name is Claude. We are responsible for organizing and financing the Battle of the Valentine's event. Valentine's Day is an occasion dear to our heart, for it celebrates love in all forms. Parental, platonic, and romantic. It is an occasion upon which we may show those we care for just how grateful we are for their presence in our lives. The same can be said of any battle. Do we not spare a thought for those we love before changing, before charging into the frame? That is why we have chosen today to assemble some of the best fighters that Kabukuro has to offer. Dear audience, for they will communicate our gratitude to you through the art of battle. And so, without any further ado, we present to you. Ugh, God really went all out on these costumes, huh? Not that I'm complaining. Crazy enough to move around in. Oh, oh god, these costumes. I've never worn something like this before. It feels a bit strange. And all that applause is making my head spin. What's that, David? These clothes remind you of the old things? Huh? Well, at least you're enjoying this. <laughs> this is youth at its finest. Nothing compares to the feeling of anticipation before stepping out onto the battlefield. Uh, uh, uh. You 
were born with that can, can go. <laughs> Good to know. Looking apart definitely helps me get in the zone. Anyway, what are we supposed to do now? Is this meant to be a battle royale between the four of us or what? Nothing of the sort. This is but an intermission to get the blood pumping before the second stage begins. That is why we have taken the liberty of preparing several worthy opponents for you. So do put on a good show, our gladiators. Now, begin! Hey, yo, testing, testing. What are you doing? You were supposed to test. What are you doing? You were supposed to test the mics before we went live. Well, it's too late now, so stand up straight and strike a pose. This show can't get started without us. Wow. Oh, uh, pretty sure it's our. They knew that. <laughs> they do know we can hear them, right? Okay. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, thank you for joining us here in this underground coliseum on this special day. A special day deserves a special celebration, and that's what we're here to provide. You're in for a real treat. But before we, begin, but before we can begin, we're gonna need to hear the passphrase. Look into your hearts, and I'm sure you'll find it. Yeah, they know it. I can tell. Ready, everyone? On the count of three. One, two, three! Happy Valentine's Day! That's like nine. God, I really lo love doing this. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to open up Audacity again. I am the god I am the god of sand and storms, but for today only. I am also the god of chocolate. Did someone order oodles of grace and beauty squished into a delightful new costume? Because here I am, lovelies. And somehow that's more modest than your normal costume! <laughs> Happy Valentine's, yo! I'm here for a way to teach you folks how to break dance. Check out these moves. Whoa! Three, two, now! <laughs> Call my name and I shall appear. I, famed magician of a pony, am here to think you believe in magic. That's right, everyone. We have not one, not two, not three, but four special guests with us here today. <clears throat> Together, they will be performing for us a good... Oh god, it's already it's already started. <laughs> they will be forming for us a group of idol fighters, which they have named. We are the Valentines! God, you're gonna <clears throat> That's it! Let's keep that energy going! Now, how about a round of applause for our set designers, the Akaha Yagi Habro creators? Those four may be a little mismatched, but that's part of their charm. Besides, being true to oneself, in size right is in size right. Eh, Enzy. <laughs> being true to oneself is Enzy's right now. Oh, I hope the kite sip or something. Bathroom's actually getting into it too? And even Steph's a part of it? Wow, you again. It's you again. What a surprise! Do you really have to take part in every single event ever? It's like the whole world revolves around you. Don't break the fourth wall. And just so you know, last last time we met, that wasn't what it looked like. I just uh, well, never mind. It doesn't matter. Ah, oh, this is a nightmare. Why do I keep bumping into you at the worst possible moment? Just. Just leave me be! Uh, uh, Seth? You okay, buddy? Did something happen between you two, partner? He seems really upset. 
surprise, you'll be your opponents for this little show. Come on, personally invited us to liven up the event. Why is why do we not have a Valentine's bath in? Yet he has a costume for it. <laughs> yep. So let's just so let's just have fun with it, yeah. And why do we not have a Valentine's out? We have a Valentine's kite tip. That was a different event. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Hey, Seth, can you do something about all this, Sam? We're gonna end up buried alive at this rate! Oh, oh, look who's fussing over the ring. Last I checked, that's a trademark in my guild, not yours. What's the matter, Kenya? Afraid you can't cut it? Just so we're clear, I won't be pulling any punches. I must confess, I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. But youth is, above all, an eternal mystery. So come what may, I shall follow your lead, my friends. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Just go all out, show us what you got. <clears throat> now that our participants guest and guests have assembled, let the Battle of the Valentine's bonus stage commence. They still haven't really told us what we're meant to be doing! <clears throat> Whatever! Let's just go for broke, partner! Right, I'll back you up however I can, Brandon. To battle then! In the name of you! I hope you know what you're doing, Leanne, today. If it turns out you were lying to me, you will face my wrath! Yeah, this one's gonna get a bit, it's gonna get more crazy. Oh boy. I said before, this one's gonna get crazy. Here comes the crazy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I am Seth. You may know me as the ruler of sand and storms. A powerful being who runs with a bad crowd. Or perhaps as the god of love charms. Well, that's who I dream of being anyway. And that dream brought me all the way here to this Tokyo. Still, the harder I try to change myself, the more I see what all needs to be changed. The little pieces of him I'm lacking. And though I have no problems running with a bad crowd, I do not consider myself to be part of it. I don't have that kind of cunning. I wouldn't even know where to start. The ideal of self, uh, the ideal of Seth I have in my mind just keeps growing grander and more imposing with each day that passes. Even though it's as vague as the mist and as shaky as, the, as a house of cards. That day, when Lehan Sine paid me a visit, she looked at she looked right at me in the eye and she said to me, "Don't worry, I'm here to help you. My name's Lehan Sine. 
I'm a producer. My job is to help you realize your dreams. Whoever you want to be, whatever you want to become, I can make it happen. You can count on me to make the ideal you come true. Before she even finished her pitch, my mind was made up. I clutched at her proposal like a drowning man clutch clutches that straw and vowed to do everything she told me. It's coming ever closer. I can feel it. The vision that haunts me night after night is nearly within my grasp. Soon I will stand in that spring and accept the love of another. Just as I have dreamed of every night since arriving here. But, oh, what form will it take? And in the meantime, what am I to do about these ethereal doubts taunting me? The voice seems to challenge me. Asking whether I am truly willing to accept. Oh! oh whoops! Whoops! Sorry, not sorry. You're putting on too much. You're not putting on much of a show. So I figured I'd give you a little love tap for motivation. A wise course of action. My apologies to you. I became lost in my thoughts. However, I will gladly rise to your challenge. Enjoying yourself, newbie? I hope so. Allow me to give you a proper bath impression of myself. <laughs> I am enraptured, but I wouldn't expect any less from a ranker of your skill. In fact, I may be falling for you. Nothing surprising there. I am, after all, irresistible, as all good demons are. And by good, I mean bad. Back to the boat. All the better. In the face of temptation, I never turned down the opportunity to succumb. We won't have to have a talk. <laughs> For my next trick, I'm gonna need a volunteer. Preferably someone sturdy. Ha <laughs> ha! You look promising! What say you, human? Um, uh, sure, I guess. You really want to fight? Oh, you're so cute. I don't think I can bring myself to hurt you. Estimating me would be your first and last mistake. Besides, the audience isn't here to watch a half-big scrap. Oh, okay then. I won't hold back. I'll show you just how hard I can pitch. That's what I like to hear, Meow. Let's start off start off this magic show with a little vanishing act. I'm going to make that ball of yours disappear. Three, two, yeah. Huh? No way! It's actually gone! You really can do magic! Oh, wow. Is that a little pause for little old me? <laughs> All right, let's get this beat. Let's get the beat flowing, yo, yo, people in the house. You want to be my Valentine? Say hey, yo! Hey, yo! You're getting sand in my. Wait a sec. This ain't sand. It's sweet. Oh, so you finally noticed. Oh, so you finally got on. I see. All the sand is, in fact, powdered hot chocolate. For what could be more appropriate. <laughs> huh? All of it? Seriously? You, you can do that, Seth? <laughs> it is a rather scrumptious blend. Simply add a few teaspoons of, to a mug of warm milk, and you will have the ultimate death. Should you think I'm exaggerating, 
No. Simply taste. Simply taste it as it passes. Mmm! So good! Naturally, everything our butler prepares is nothing short of perfection. Come on, Sethi. Come on, Sethi. You gotta try some. It's to die for. Huh? Oh, sorry. I didn't realize we were... I, I mean... As if, as if a badass like me gives a damn about sweet beverages. I'm here to fight, not to nourish. It smells great. There's something about this chocolatey sandstone that's making me get all... I don't know... Woozy? I hope this works. I followed Leah and sent a script to the letter, but... I just don't see how this is supposed to help me get any closer to the ideal me. To the ideal set. Wow, I mean, I know my new my moves are dynamite, but wow! I've never seen a crowd get this hype before! You're right, Al! There's something fishy going on here! It almost feels like we're in a dream! Speaking of dreams, the script says I'm meant to show off my sacred artifact next. <clears throat> it's in here somewhere. There we go. I love you all so much! Happy Valentine's, everyone! Ow! No! What are you thinking? This isn't a time to be using that! Uh, oh, uh-oh. Not another dream escapade! Here we go. And things are about to get crazy. What just happened? Help! What have you done? Something's going on with my sandstorm. I... I can't... control it! I... Mm, I don't like the looks of this. This is bad! Everyone cover your mouths right now! Uh, why? What? Oh dear. Is it just me? Or is it getting hot in here? Oh no. No, Kingo. What's going on? What is the meaning of this? If that hot chocolate powder is no longer under Seth's control, then who is manipulating it? I do so love those who lose themselves in dreams sweeter than sugar. And chase those dreams with blind fervor? Oh no. Oh no. I am a prisoner. You're a prisoner. And now everyone here will be a prisoner of your dreams as well. Oh my god, love of mine. Help me weave this dream into reality. Hear ye, song of the heart's desire! Kingo, Yuma, snap out of it! What's happening to him? Macriotch, Seth, you two okay? It doesn't seem to be affecting me at all. I wonder why. You too are yet sound of mind? Ah, I see. It's your sword's rule that's protecting you. Oh, it allows you to sever unwelcome influences, you say. How intriguing. Yeah, I'm lucky. I don't understand. I did everything she said. I followed her script to the letter. So why? Look, 
What are they doing now? Get. Give. Give. Give us more! Oh no. Oh no! Uh oh. Oh. What? Why are you staring at it? Oh. I'll give you what exactly? Why is everyone getting undressed? You had to say it. <laughs> I didn't realize this was that kind of party. This situation feels oddly familiar. Would someone please explain what the hell is going on? Oh, chocolate, look at it all. Give me! Everyone's lost their marbles! And, oh no, the chocolate sandstorm is coming back this way! You gotta use your sacred artifact to reverse this right now before. Mmm, so sweet, so good. Give me more. Help! No! It's not my fault. I swear. The sand, the hot chocolate. I mean, it's not under my command anymore. Damn it! Not again! <clears throat> oh no. Uh um. -oh. <laughs> Sorry, little baby. But I'm gonna need you out of the commission for a spell. I can't believe it! You are! Ah, uh, yes, it is I. I am Seth. Uh, the ideal whom you long to become for many a cycle. I am bad to the bone and cooler than a glacier. After an eternity spent in your head, I'm finally here in the flesh. Um... Seth wouldn't say something like that! Oh my stars! It's Seth! He's so dreamy! Wow, check out Mr. Popularity over here. Does this mean what I think it means? If you recall, I am the god of love charms. And it's given and given its similar properties, I'm also the god of chocolate. Everyone loves me. Everyone wants me. Isn't this what it means to be a true ruler, Seth? Now watch as I accomplish everything you ever dreamed of and yet, yet could never achieve. <clears throat> now watch as I accomplish everything you ever dreamed of yet could never achieve. Oh no. Um, uh... Uh, hey, Seth, <laughs> you're not the real Seth. Get away from me. <laughs> True, I'm just the realization of a dream that one you call the real Seth has been obsessing over for years. To him, the ideal self, Seth, the ideal Seth is strong, self-possessed, and always gets what he wants. Everyone respects and reveres him. <clears throat> so that's who I am, and why I can, and will, do something he never, he never had the nerve to attempt. I'm going to make you mine. Oh, no, 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 Stop! Not in front of the customers! I think they're beyond caring about that right now, my feline friend. Kite Seth! Back round hell! Oh, 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 oh. 
the crowd's actually into it. Hmm, my garden master. It would appear that the audience is already under the effects of the chocolate power. And me, and this sandstorm has created a pseudo battle zone. But by whose design? <laughs> no! The heat is unbearable, isn't it? Every inch of your skin licked by tongues of flame, and you, frozen in ecstasy. You're under my spell, and you must be. The powdered chocolate surrounding us is more potent than any love potion. Wait, what? So this stuff's an aphrodisiac? That's why everyone's acting weird? There is nothing my powers cannot achieve. Behold, so-called real Seth. This is how you get things done. Oh. <clears throat> Why can I move? Oh. Hush. You're going to become me now. The ideal you've always dreamed of. It won't take long. I need only overwrite your memories with my own. <laughs> Brandon, I... Somebody help me out of this situation! Please! This is not how I want this! <laughs> Don't step out of it, Sid! I, I, I don't want it like this. Oh, thank God. <sighs> what? Why not? This is exactly what I would do, and I need remind you, I am your ideal, Seth. You're right, this is exactly the kind of thing I envisioned he, my brother, would do. You're everything I set out to become. Strong, tough, a badass through and through. Someone irresistible. Exactly. So, what's the problem then? The problem is, all of it. You may be all of those things, but you're not the real deal. That's why your charms aren't working on Brandon. If you were a real Seth, things would be so different. My brother would never have needed to resort to magical coercion. Sure, I let myself get caught up in this ideal, but that's just because my real dream was practically unachievable. A real Seth is so much greater than I could ever hope to imagine. Hmm. Don't be ridiculous. The real Seth is your ideal, is he not? That's who I am. As such, my love spell is infallible. Not quite. Impossible. <laughs> you shouldn't be capable of doing me harm within this love storm of my making. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. But I'll, but I'll put a cork in that love potion. Boundless tail! Need a hand? Ah! What? What? <laughs> Two of you are unaffected! How can this be? Why isn't my love potion working? Come, Seth. It is time to fight back. You are prepared to do so, are you not? I... Your words just now resonated with me deeply. Instead of getting lost in the allure of what the dreams dangle before us, we should endeavor to shape our own, even when it is difficult, and even when we don't know how to proceed. For that is what youth is all about. That is the youth I seek! And that is why I shall aid you this day, presuming you are willing to accept my help, of course. <laughs> Same here, Seth. Let's get through this together. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good. Now that's settled. Just tell me where you need. Right. Thanks. You're... Black Village, right? That I am. And may I say, you are far more appealing than your twin over there. I do well to take care lest I fall for you. Claire. I... You... Are you messing with me? This cannot be happening! I am Seth, the god of love! No one should be able to resist me! Well, I got some bad news for you. You're not as irresistible as you think. Is that so? Brandon, what are you... Sure, bad boys are cool, but... This Seth is cooler than you ever be. <laughs> This, the set I know, is the one I choose. Oh, Brandon. So what? At the end of the day, I'm still the winner here. The ideal set always wins. He's the baddest of the bunch. Oh, no, you didn't. You know you don't stand a chance against any of these people, much less me. I could never lose to a weakling like you! Nah, uh, these are my... my friends! How dare you use them against me! Hmm. Come on, Seth. Let's prove him wrong. Right, I can do this. I know I can! I might not be the ideal Seth I always envisioned, but I'm the Seth you chose, and that's even better! I should have known things would turn out like this, but that's fine. In fact, it's almost better this way. Better this than better this than for them to fall prey to these dreams of my creation, or for them to drown in the river of my love. Yes, this is better by far. After all, you have to reach the far bank of my affections, and I would not. I trust you have enjoyed this little dream of yours, Vian, today. I see you still pine for a lost cause. Your role backstage should have accustomed you to watching performers from the side of us. Is that part... is that part of the allure? Oh! It's you! Waiting on it. There it is. Take that! <sighs> Enough! We'll not fall to the likes of you! Oh, yeah? <laughs> We're just getting started! We wanted to take you down together! I had almost forgotten the strength of our teamwork, but never again! Together we can achieve anything! Our teamwork is unstoppable, and so am I! I can do this, for in this moment, I am Seth in all of his glory! Did you have to... Never mind. <laughs> I had known him the ruler of, the sa of sand and storms! The strongest god there is! this be? <laughs> These sands are mine to control! Mine alone! You said it yourself. You're the ideal me. In other words, whatever powers you possess are mine to manage by right. Which means that I can bring this chocolatey sandstorm under my command anytime I want! 
Whoa! What happened? I swear it was all hot and bothered just a second ago, but now that feeling's just gone. Can go put your clothes back on. Me too. I thought I was going gonna go crazy. My heart was practically leaping out of my chest. Q wanna put your clothes back on. <clears throat> No, this cannot be. <laughs> uh, this farce is sure to end in tragedy, you know. The audience will uh, be utterly panicked when they fully regain their senses. Uh, right. Good point, whoever you are, and, uh, Leanne City? You have some explaining to do. Uh, all I can say is that I truly believed in your dream set. I thought it was a wonderful vision, worthy of being realized. That's why I chose to aid you, though it would seem you have outgrown any need for that aid. As such, I think it's about time we put an end to this dream. Better than that, let it overstay its welcome even further. But what are you saying? Would you be kind enough to do the honor, Christine? When the audience tires on the show on stage, it's time for a curtain call. Let this be the dream's finale. Phantom Embrace! <clears throat> Alas, all good things must come to an end. Oh. Is everything back to normal? Wait, is someone setting off fireworks? Again, didn't I? I'm so sorry, everyone. I can't believe I let things go out, get out of control like that. <laughs> there is no need to be so hard on yourself. The spectators enjoyed the show, and in our view, that's all that matters. Yep, all is well that ends well. That's what it means to be a show cat. Um, show panda. A show panda? Uh, show person? <laughs> oh, shucks. Thanks, Kite Sith. Appreciate it, Claude. Hmm? Hey, where's Seth going off to? Has anyone seen Seth? He already left. I think he's still out in the hall. You gonna go see him, partner? Yeah, I'll go talk to him. Thanks, Kingo. See you in a bit. And put some clothes on! <laughs> right, I'll be waiting. Put some clothes on. Hmm. Ah, oh, there you are. What you doing out here? Oh, oh, nothing. I just wanted a minute to think. Hmm. Hey, um, Brandon, I wanted to, um... Look, this is for you. Just take it, okay? Wow, thanks, Seth. This is so sweet of you. It looks great. <laughs> My pleasure. Uh, anyway, you've got to get back to the event, right? Good luck. I'm sure you'll do. I'm sure you'll do great. 
I'll be watching from the stands and rooting for you, Brandon. I'll be sure not to let you down. See you later, okay? So now I have a chocolate bat and a chocolate bonbon. Uh, um, hey, um, just so you know, I, I only have eyes for you. Yeah. <sighs>